So yeah, I just got out of church. I'm Pentecostal, so church can last all day. I just got out of church and oh my gosh, first of all, church was good. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, but makeup is kind of off. I danced a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys know how Pentecostal church is, but yeah, I danced a lot. I jumped a lot. I said a lot of hallelujahs and a lot of amens. Now, for me to go and try to look for newspapers after doing all of that, first of all, I'm tired. Second of all, I know by the time I get back home, there will be no newspapers at my local stores. I'm going to give it a try for the sake of seeing how everything will go. I'm going to give it a try and... I have a nail appointment because I broke two nails, so two nails are missing. I have a nail appointment, so it's going to be between running around looking for newspapers or making my nail appointment. So, already you can maybe start to try and see why a coupon clipping service works for my lifestyle. Because I'm not going to skip church in the morning to go look for newspapers. And I'm not going to be late. And then church starts early, and then it can get out late. I don't want to be late. There's just so many things, but I'm going to go look for newspapers and hopefully I can still make my nail appointment and get my papers. Okay, so if this is your store, this is where I am now. I'm at Dollar General in Palm Coast, Florida. So hopefully you guys know exactly where this is. I don't know exactly where I am right now, but hopefully you guys know where I am. So Dollar General, let's go inside. I have my inserts, I have my little note, tons of inserts here. So whoever finds these, you'll pretty much be excited because there's a lot of inserts here. So hopefully you'll be happy with what you're gonna find with these inserts. So let's go inside and find a good hiding place. Oh, they have this little thing here. I don't think my stores have this little area, but this is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna come inside here, look for a decent place. This store is a little bit different from what I'm used to. It's a lot bigger too. Whose Dollar General is this big? Wow, there's so much stuff. There's lots of space. I just can't get over how much space is in the aisles. Wow, this is like the dollar aisle of dollar aisles. Oh my goodness, it has everything. Little Gains, Little Dawns, Little Palm Olives, Ajax, Little Tiny Clorox. Oh my gosh, this clearance aisle is so the bomb. Oh my gosh, they have everything. I'm gonna hide them behind tissue or paper towels. Who's gonna look back there, right? Or should I hide them behind Gain or Tide? Because a lot of couponers come to this area. So I know for sure somebody who really wants them or needs them will find them if I put them somewhere like this. So which thing is more like fair game? Should I put it behind uh, laundry products or paper products? Okay guys, so I've made my decision. I'm gonna put them right here behind the Tide Pods because Tide Pods are on sale right now and I'm really hoping that a couponer will be stocking up on Tide Pods and will find all of these. Okay, so I'm right here at, what is this? Hilltop Road and SR207 and there's a Dollar General when I turn, I'll be at the next store. So if this is your store, get ready. Okay, so this is a really unique Dollar General. I'm in St. Augustine, Florida, and if this is your store, get ready to get these inserts. Okay, so this is the stack of what I'm gonna be putting in there. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Dollar General. I'm not even gonna waste any time. I'm thinking the best thing to do would be to kind of hide them in plain sight. So the stationary, section looks like a pretty decent place to put them so i'm thinking bottom row kind of inconspicuous yeah that looks good right there boom so if you're here that's where they are next stop walgreens at 6 30 blandon boulevard in orange park florida Walgreens is a little different because not only is it super quiet in here all the time, but a lot of times in Walgreens, it's so neat and so clean. Sorry, I have to stop and look at Clarence. 
but it's so neat and so clean so it's like almost like where am i going to put anything okay so i'm thinking the one place that you can always expect a couponer to go would be like the laundry detergent and somewhere like this so this is the aisle that i'm going to put them on now i'm just looking for a good place okay occ gang is looking like here is going to be the place right behind the swiffers Hopefully you guys will see this video and come get them. They're right behind the Swiffers that are priced at $28. So yep, all up in here. Hopefully one of you guys will find these. OCC gang, I am at CVS on Old St. Augustine Road in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm getting ready to leave these. This is the address is on the door if you're wondering which one. And it's CVS on Old St. Augustine Road. Let's go inside and see where we're gonna put these. CVS. This is a nice CVS. There's a lot of space in here. Hold on, I gotta take a second and look at all of this. My store doesn't have any of this. This is pretty nice. I know some of you probably have CVS stores with a lot of different makeup brands and displays and things like this, but my store is pretty small and I don't usually see a lot of this stuff. Okay, so I'm looking at this section and it looks like I could just maybe just slide them in here just like this and I don't think anyone would really, really pay it any attention, but the magazine section, I mean, come on, they would blend right in. So maybe I'll just leave them here. I don't know, hide them in plain sight. Looks like a plan. So I'm coming right over here to this Atlas. And then I'll just probably just stick them right there. Yeah, if I can get it in there without bending it. There it is. Okay, so if you're in the area, hopefully you guys can find these. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good space. I mean, it's like right there in plain sight. Somebody might walk by and be like, wait, what? Hopefully someone finds them. So you guys know I was not gonna leave you guys out, right? Guys, you are getting the chance to win some One Q Couponer merch, OCC Gang merch. That's right. Click the link down below. Go ahead and go to the One Q Couponer t-shirt site and start to browse because you are now getting a chance to win one of these cool, awesome OCC Gang shirts. That's right. Two of you are going to win and all you have to do to enter is to comment down below which shirt that you would like if you won. I'll use a random comment generator to pick the winner like I always do so it'll be totally fair. I will show you how I'm picking everyone with a random generator the computer will choose so everyone has a fair chance. Just comment down below which shirt you would want if you won. And we have two sites to choose from. One website has one variety of shirts and the other website has a different variety of shirts. So you'll be able to go on both sites and look around at the different colors colors and different shirts. And that's basically it. Now, the winner will be announced on the same video on Sunday morning. The names of the two winners will be posted in the top comment at the top of the comment section on this same video. So come back to this same video on Sunday morning to see if you won. Also, I'll be giving away inserts or coupon books, whatever you guys call them. I'll be giving two sets of those away by mail. I'll be mailing them to you and all you have to do to enter to win the inserts is just comment something besides the t-shirt thing and I'll know that you're commenting about winning the coupons. So to recap, one entry for the inserts, one entry for the shirts. A comment about the shirts enters you into the shirt giveaway and a comment about the coupons enters you into the coupon giveaway. You can enter one or both, but remember, both comments need to be separate.